Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to another episode of Cookie Run. Specifically, welcome to what should be basically, technically, the real finale of the uh, Secret of the Slash Painting, but also what could be the uh, second to last episode because we also got to do another episode asking the final questions and also, you know, getting that lobby and also showing that lobby off. Which I think the lobby looks pretty cool just from a distance. But for now, what we gotta do is we gotta go in here, go in Cookie Detective, and we gotta ask the question. Yes, I'm recording this late. Today was kind of busy. But we have a new set of questions to ask. And by that, no, one question to ask. Because in the last episode, you haven't seen it yet, which you haven't yet. It's kind of spoiled by what's on the screen right now. Butter Pretzel was discovered guilty. Which is honestly kind of shocking. No, it's actually very shocking, but kind of predictable. But, there's still one person to be found guilty left. So we gotta find out who it is. And we still... Do not get any hints. That's a, uh... That is a problem. So, okay. We can only- we can only, uh, link it to three- Okay, let's- let's ask the question for, first. Uh, are you really innocent, Firecracker Cookie? All the cookies who heard my firecrackers that night will know! That is true. You launched those firecrackers last night. Not last night. Was it last night? Or that night? It's that night. Uh, the cookies who basically heard those firecrackers do know. I'm pretty sure there were some who can basically agree that they did hear them. So, obviously, are you really innocent even though we found you guilty? So this question kind of sucks, but I'm still going to ask you anyway, Mustard Cookie. Are you really innocent? True artists don't vandalize other cookies' art. What were you guilty of again? You were guilty of something, but what were you doing? Were you confirmed to be in the warehouse? Is that what it was? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, say that again. True artists don't vandalize other cookies' arts. Alright, now you say that. And, uh, I think it's right here. We checked the story. Uh, Suspicious Cookie 3, what should we do with this painting? I feel so frustrated. I want to tear it apart. Well, that definitely is the way to deal with it. Need a hand? Uh-huh, uh-huh. You're such- you're such a sussy pleb. <laughs> Alright, Gumball Cookie, are you really innocent? A masterpiece painted with butter? Add some gumballs and it can become better. Mm. Well, they didn't destroy the painting. They're, they never said they wanted to destroy it. Or did they? I don't think so. They just said, oh, well, it's not my painting, so it's not that good. But that kind of gives them a motive, doesn't it? I don't know. Okay. How about you, Rockstar? Are you really innocent? Uh, stars are bound to be seen wherever we go. Ain't nobody seen me in that garden. Hmm. Did they not? Oh, this one I'm gonna have to think hard because I got no hints on this one. Alright, Angel. Are you really innocent? I do not lie. I'm gonna be... Really shocked if it's Angel in the top three. I'm gonna laugh, but be really shocked. Okay, Herb, Herb. Are you really innocent? I usually visit both the garden and the warehouse, but this time, I didn't visit the warehouse at all. Okay, so you weren't at the warehouse. Well, at least that clears the sus from that last round I voted him, where Muster was actually guilty. I feel bad for that, still, but at least I got Butter Pretzel. But now we got one left, which is you. Butter Puzzle Cookie yourself. Are you really innocent? Even though it says you're guilty. But are you really innocent? My butter painting is very important to me. Mmm. That is true, even though you're you kind you're kind of the pleb that uh kinda of, kinda of, kinda of scratched it off. Alright. This is the part of the video that's very bad, because as you can see. We have no hints this time. Nothing. Literally nothing can help us. So all we have to rely on is whatever, whoever's in the top three, and we just gotta make a shot in the dark, I guess. So, uh... Let's check. It's Gumball. No. <sighs> and Herb. If it's Herb... I'm gonna be absolutely shocked, because I voted him once, but he wasn't guilty, but that was in a different round. We know you're innocent. You both are plenty guilt- guilty- it pl I almost said idiots, but you're really not idiots, because you're kind of smart, because you kind of carried it out. 
but I'm not done yet, but art shouldn't belong to anyone. Mm. There is absolutely no way it's Angel. If it is Angel, the only sensible one is Gumball. Like, I don't see anyone, like, of course, yeah, there's Rockstar, but they're not even in the top three. Which, I guess, like, could make them a little less sus, but it kind of makes them a little bit more sus, because technically they were involved in a lot of the story, but what would they, what, what would their motive be? Would the motive be like, uh, oh, well, people were going to this painting attraction instead of my concerts? Actually, that would be some good motivation. But, uh, huh. Then who are we trying to find here, by the way? Like, what crime are we- Because we confirmed both the cookies who are guilty of slashing it up, right? So who am I trying to find? I guess, technically, Gumball. But would Gumball want to relate themselves to, uh... I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna be very interested if it's Rockstar. I will be absolutely shocked if it's either Herb or Fairy. But for me, I think the safest answer would be Gumball. Didn't I go- Didn't I vote Gumball before? No, 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 no. Because I think I did vote Gumball before, but they were counted as innocent. I think. But that was in part one. Because they weren't the one who stole it, but like, No, but if they slashed it up... I don't know. This is hard. Actually, very, very hard. Okay, um... I'm putting my sus on you right now. The only person I could see someone cutting up something would honestly probably be Rockstar, because, like, what if they, like, cut something up with a guitar pick? I don't know, he probably wouldn't do that. Or at least wouldn't have one that's sharp enough. I, I might have to go with Gumball. He seems like the most likely uh, option. This this sucks without a hint. This sucks. I'm probably gonna have to do some research and actual like research like that might like decide what my true vote is going to be. But whatever, I'm gonna do it. You're guilty. And you didn't do anything you swear. Um, maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. But I don't know. That's the hard part about it. I can't really tell what you did and didn't do. <sighs> Called a birth okay, they called a birthday cake cookie and requested the painting to be moved to the warehouse. Not satisfied with the outcome of the artwork, decided to reshape and destroy the painting. On one of Dr. Wasabi's errands, used a shortcut and passed by the warehouse. Discovering the painting in question, assisted in reshaping the painting with a can of sp uh, Oh, so they reshaped it with uh, spray paints. So maybe Gumball could have reshaped it with like a... Uh, no, that makes sense, because they all would have, like, a different taste of, like, what art would be. Maybe, now it's kind of starting to make some more sense. Play it all, uh, play it alone with firecrackers outside of the museum until Angel Cookie joined to watch. Angel Cookie's testimony provides alibi. Firecracker Cookie was nowhere near the warehouse. Okay. And Angel didn't lie about that, so obviously it's not Angel. But I don't, okay. My vote is still going to be stuck on Gumball. Herb is a sweet pie. There's no way Angel would, like, lie, obviously. I know there's a lot of people who meme and, like, vote because of because Angel has, like, you know, uh, if you don't know, Angel has, a uh, the stare. The stare. But, uh, hey, I'm not voting Angel. I'm gonna try and play it sensibly. But, uh, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's anything else to talk about here. Uh, so I'm just gonna hope that I'm correct. And if I'm not correct, I might make, like, a last-minute decision. But it should be Gumball. Because, just as a last note, you have innocent person, literal innocent morales, other artist, and then Rockstar. <laughs> but I think this is all I'm going off of. So I may as well just check you back in the morning, basically nine hours, so nine and a half hours until the, uh, you know, the true culprit is found. Alright. This is it. This is the final day of, uh, the plumbing. Well, okay, technically it's not the final day. It's it's just, uh, when the true culprit gets found out. Or at least it should be when the true culprit gets found out. I doubt round five is going to be anything special. Because, just like the last round, it was just like, you know, 
this round, and then there was a round before it that just said, hey, you did it. So, we just gotta jump straight into this. I should get a drink. Ah, uh, no, 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 I gotta find out. Was it? No, what am I, what am I saying? It's this one. This. It is! We did vote right. And they were innocent in the first thing. How dare you. Uh, hold on, let me just... I hope you heard that, because I actually cracked my knuckles right there. Now then, time for me to show this boring museum what a real masterpiece is. But this wall is bigger than I thought. I'm gonna need more paint. Mm. <laughs> a warehouse. Maybe I'll find someone there. Oh. Is everyone here? Good. Listen up. This case has been cracked wide open. This is what happened. Heard there was gonna be a fun exhibition at this museum, but no! This place is boring! Where's the color? The vibrancy? The real art? I'll show them what a real masterpiece looks like! Gumball Cookie, be careful. Please don't hurt the plants. <laughs> don't worry, my canvas is the museum itself! <laughs> That's good to hear. Have fun. I'm going to go look at the unique collection of plants over there. I like how Herb's just- Herb just doesn't care. He's just like- Gumball's like, oh, I'm gonna mess up this whole museum, and Herb's just like, Alright, have fun. Oh, I just, I can't crack my knuckles again, can I? Hold, uh, uh. And I tried. Now then, time, to, time for me to show this boring museum what a real masterpiece is. This wall is bigger than I thought. I'm gonna need more paint. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A warehouse! Maybe I'll find something there. Huh? What's all this? There's nothing but gardening tools in here. Gumball cookie. What are you doing in here? Ah! Oh. Oh, wait. Mustard cookie? I should be asking you the same question. I thought you hated museums like this. Graham's asked me to do something. This is a good shortcut. You hate boring places like this museum. Why are you here, huh? Hmm. Okay. I'll tell you. Since you're probably one of the very few who can even begin to fathom my artistic vision. This place is so dull, so average, so plain. I'm gracing it with my own art, a flash of color, new life breathed into it with my gumballs. You know what? You're right. If all the art in the building, you know, if, if, if it's all in the building, then there's no way every cookie can enjoy them to the fullest. I'm going to join you. I think this museum can use some thought-provoking graffiti. You really are a true artist, aren't you, Mustard Cookie? Jiro isn't born from freedom. Yeah, it... Hey, what's that big claw thing over there? Something under it. Is... Is that a painting? Why is it here of all places? Is... Is this that fancy painting that Cheesecake Cookie's been talking about so much? Didn't know you two would recognize my butter painting technique. But... But butter pretzel cookie? This is yours? Isn't it? What's it doing in the warehouse? Paintings don't usually just belong in warehouses. How perceptive. This painting is the centerpiece of the hors d'oeuvre museum's exhibition. So, why is it here? Because it's unfinished. These, these are parts that need some touching up. A masterpiece isn't created in a single day. Do you know how long I've toiled and struggled onto this painting? You know what? You know what you need to do? Go with the flow. Just do what your heart tells you. Don't overthink it, just do it. That's easier said than done. My technique isn't as whimsical as spraying graffiti and blowing up paint. What? My vision of art isn't some- Wait. Butter pretzel cookie. Were you ever happy while painting this thing? It's- It's like you can only talk about how hard it was. Art is about expressing thoughts and feelings. Even if it's not a masterpiece, you should still feel happy and proud of what you've created. That... That's extremely naive. I must paint something extraordinary. Every time. I have to. There's no other way. Unveiling an unfinished painting like... Like this wreck in front of me. This isn't art! Ugh! Hey. Whoa there. Easy. You really gonna ruin your work like that? It's all over anyway. 
This exhibition, this painting, fruitless. All of it. You, you can still paint without having to hold an exhibition, you know. If you worked that hard on it, why not just, you know, why do you make a mess of it just now? I was an obscure nobody. A painting. Just painting with butter in the streets. An artist who rationed meals just to buy the best butter. I remember being happy when when I when I my own technique for using butter. But even then, no one cared about me or my paintings. But when Cheesecake Cookie bought my painting for the very first time, I thought I was finally recognized. This this unveiling at the museum is about providing the world that my reputation isn't some fluke. But but everyone here they were all so excited, anticipating a grand masterpiece. I tried very hard, but I just couldn't paint anything better. I'm a sham. I thought they'd be disappointed. Then an idea dawned on me. No one will be disappointed if they can't see my painting. Pressure. Anticipation. Heavy stuff to deal with. Huh? You mean that... You understand my predicament? Well, yeah. Creating something from nothing is just... It's an... It's an emotional journey, understood by all artists. So there are, like, moments when you feel like this, too? Don't put it up... Don't put us in the same boat, but... Yeah. I spent hours and hours thinking about what to do next. My style of art is very different from yours, no doubt about that, but... Let's face it. We all want to create art some way, right? You're right. I... I've forgotten my roots. That... That satisfying rush of completing my first butter painting. But tomorrow's... Tomorrow's the unveiling ceremony. What... What point is there in painting something for my own happiness right now? Snap out of it! You're an artist! You're not always painting for a single exhibition. Yes, however... I'm not confident enough to continue down the path of being a painter. Don't be too hard on yourself. Inspiration isn't something you can just squeeze out of a tube. Hey, I've got an idea. Hear me out. What if we created something together? New things, new ideas, new experiences. That's what helps me with inspiration, ain't it? You might have fun with my vision of real art. Here, I'll lend you a can of my spray paint. Push down on the button here and voila. I don't lend my can to just anyone, but... You're an artist in your own right, so here, I think you got what it takes to handle it. So many colors. It's so dynamic. I've never used this many colors and shades before. I've never thought that I would enjoy such... such... freedom! Yeah, 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 it's liberating, ain't it? Now create something to your heart's content. This feeling, this emotion... Yes, I remember it. That was fun. So much fun! Hey, butter pretzel cookie. What should we do with this painting? It's just... Ugh. I feel so frustrated just looking at it. I want to tear it apart. Well, that's definitely a way to deal with it. Need a hand? That might be just what the doctor ordered. Forget about this and start with a clean slate. You might come up with a new idea too. Thank you. Well then, shall we? Well, I guess that's that. Tearing that painting apart was so liberating. But what do I do now? I still can't think of something new to paint. And I need to finish it before sunrise. Well, well, well. There were rumors of a grand masterpiece getting ready for display. But alas, am I too late for the party? There's a music note at the end. What is that? You? You're that... You're that famous thief! Oh my gosh. Rogue for a cookie! Are, are you- are you here to steal my painting? That's an upsetting way to greet someone, no? I am but a simple visitor tonight. I consider this museum a trove of jewels worth admiring. What? Oh, oh, never mind. Anyway, nothing for you to steal here. As you can see, it's ruined beyond all measure. I am in no rush. After all, beautiful works of art require time and patience. I look forward to our next meeting. A, a, a bit bold for you for a burglar. Oh, 
Oh, oh, uh, I'll, I'll tell everyone that the painting was stolen. That way, I won't have to show it to anyone. These were the turn of events on that fateful night. There's nothing that logic and deduction can't solve. Uh, butter pretzel cookie. You fabricated the crime? Curator em and mental cheese. Everyone, I am deeply sorry. I, I I didn't think my actions would cause such a giant commotion. I should have just been honest and told you everything from the start. I understand if the museum wants to cancel the exhibition and ban me from holding one ever again. The, the pressure of creation. The struggle against obscurity. Your, your initiative to step into the world of art. And... And... And all those emotions curl together to mold a breathtaking masterpiece. What a wondrous tale! Eh? You are angry? I will admit, it was initially shocking. However, you had your reasons. I wholeheartedly understand. I know what it's like to be unsatisfied with the work. The stress and pressure of it all just wanting it to be perfect. But I learned the thing about parties is that they aren't perfect on their own. It's the cookies who enjoy the maximum perfum. <laughs> Makes it perfect, I'm sorry. Whenever you're struggling with something, you can talk to us. We're here for you. We can think over it together. We're all the same in this world of creativity. I look forward to what you show in the world in the future. Paint something smaller next time. It'll be easier to carry around. Chili pepper cookie. Are you openly admitting your intention to steal a painting in the future? Uh, I, uh... Did I say that out loud? Butter pretzel cookie, come visit my garden one day. Talking to the plants might help you relax. Th thank you, everyone. Oh, and uh, I won't take it personally if you decide to stop sponsoring me. What do you mean? <laughs> this is sort of the thing won't stop me from sponsoring you. Che cheesecake cookie. When times are tough, it's important to take a step back and relax. Besides, I don't want my friend or sponsored artist to be stressed. And... Planning new parties are always an option. Th thank you, all of you. I... I've come up with an idea for my next painting, just now. Oh, wow. Really? The Ordor Museum keenly awaits your next desire to hold an exp exhibition. Our doors will always be open for you. I, I promise to keep at it before this exhibition is over. I hope everyone will come see it once it's done. Wanna cookie. Almond cookie, will you come too? Absolutely. In the meantime, I'll, I'll read some books about art. Congratulations, Walnut Cookie. Case closed, and the job well done. I'm, I'm glad I was able to help, and I'll keep trying to be a better detective. A detective who will never give up. You're already a great one. Thank you for cooperating with the investigation, Detective Walnut Cookie. Thank you for believing in me, Detective Almond Cookie. L Lemon Cookie, how goes the prep for the concert? Not bad. We're on schedule. Excellent! This will, be, this will indeed be the perfect party! I heard that Butter Pretzel Cookie's latest painting is quite something. I just know that I will be inspired to dance that moment I lay eyes on it. Butter Pretzel... Butter Pretzel Cookie's face looks so real. Very realistic. I'll never understand art. Me too. I read a book about art before coming, but uh... You cannot learn everything about art from books, my dear. Aww. That face. That smile. Doesn't the word comfort come to mind? It's simple, really. What do you feel when looking at it? Hmm. The smile really does reflect a sense of comfort and relaxation. And even though this is the first time seeing it, it's somehow very familiar. Oh, hello, Butter Pretzel Cookie. Excellent work on the painting. Very intriguing piece of art. It's very realistic, almost as if it's ready to jump out of the canvas. You're both here. Thank you. Ever since then, I've learned how to work at my own pace, quite comfortably, too. And I'll admit... Out of all my recent paintings, this is probably my favorite. Hey, that smile. It's just like that one in the painting. 
I truly adore your paintings, Butter Pretzel Cookie. Are you already considering your next? Huh? There's... There's something on the floor here. An envelope? Invitation? That... Insignia? It's Rogue Four Cookie's calling card! L l l let me take a closer look. A true marvel. Calculating logic has paved the way for imaginative inspiration on a grand jewel of art. Hearken to me, dear cookies. Upon Starlight's glow, I will make my appearance to embrace the latest jewel to grace our eyes. This is Detective Almond Cookie requesting backup at an order museum. Rogue Four Cookie will attempt a theft tonight. Rogue Four Cookie. I'll get you this time. We're on the case, Butter Presso Cookie. My painting is in your good hands, detectives. Alright, happy ending. <laughs> Gonna be honest there, I did not expect the uh, video to get this long. But, eh, whatever, it's me explaining a cutscene. Really, all I'm just hoping for is that the video doesn't, like, kind of you know, lag out too much, in which it's gonna get out of sync at some parts, but hopefully if it does, it's still somewhat of, like, you know, a good experience to go through. But, we- th this event has to be finished. I think it's round 5, case solved. We did it. Now, granted, we did mess up bad on this one, but other than that, we basically voted for everyone correct, which is pretty solid. Now, of course, we're probably just gonna have to do one more video on this, in which we just have to, uh, you know, get final remaining case notes, and then we gotta answer these last remaining questions, which is just basically, did you meet anyone last night? And with that said, after that, we will get the lobby. But, I think this video is long enough as it is, I think it's nearing 20 minutes. Like, no, no, it's gotta be above 20 minutes, honestly, like, wow, this is probably one of my longest cookie run videos. Uh, if you're excluding the iceberg, but still. But I think I finally have to end it here. So this is kind of like a, the, s the story related to the finale. But it's not the final episode just yet. I will get these last questions answers as soon as possible. But with that being said. If you did enjoy this whole event and stuff like that. And if you just enjoyed this video in general. Then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share with your friends more uh, cookie run content. And if you enjoy my content in general. Why not subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet or you want to. Then be sure to hit the, be hit the bell icon next, next to the subscribe button. To receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least. Why not check out my merchandise. I'm, on, I'm gonna leave a link to it down in the description. And I'm not forcing you to buy anything. But there might be something in there that you might be interested in. But above all. I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype beats!